what's going on guys and welcome back to the most spectacular read through of all times i am the big cliche i am big pop a pump without the pump i am the rock that is never hard king kong got a lot on me i am t b r terabyte reacts and i would just like to say you're welcome welcome back guys to another episode of berserk the manga read through greatness i am back guys and i'm not apologizing <laughs> if you're waiting for an apology it's not going to happen it's been a while i know okay it's been a while but we are back so just be happy <laughs> okay <clears throat> just be happy i know people have been asking me a lot of times are you going to finish B berserk are you going to finish um yes i have not forgotten about the series it's just time 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 most of you guys know what i you know what i've been dealing with in the you know in the past i want to say probably like four or five months or so and things just just got out of the way and we are back that's all i can say to you guys is that you know we're back and we're rolling so i'm gonna try to do um our manga read throughs i'm gonna try to do them two times a month every other week um so these are gonna come out on sunday so um yes these are gonna come out on sunday and then i'm gonna um so there's gonna be none the week after next sunday so you're you're watching this on sunday now so next week there will be no berserk and then the week after that we'll come back and do berserk again so i'm trying to do my manga read-throughs i'm i'm doing this on a friday not sunday because i'm trying to get all my recording done for the stuff that comes out on the weekend i'm doing most of that stuff on thursday on friday most of my reactions i'm doing on thursday and friday preparing for the next week so it so during the week for saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday right for those five days out of the week the 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 um the reactions that i do very light very light you know what i'm saying two maybe three episodes of an anime or something of the sort most of my tv shows are gonna be on the weekend because those episodes are longer so i can knock those out on the two days that i put aside to do reactions the other ones are just like two episodes here two episodes there for anime and stuff like that so i can handle that you know in the evening time or something like that i can knock those out in a couple of hours blah blah, blah and i can still have time to get rest tend to my girl whatever the situation is so i'm i i, I did it in a way where I can go hard for two days and get a lot of reactions done, including these read-throughs. Um, but I, the reason why I'm doing it, you know, you know, bi-weekly, if you want to call it that, every every two weeks you'll have, you know, a chap chapters or volumes. I'm doing Berserk by the volume. You know, um, if I can't handle, like if because I'm doing so much and trying to pack so much into one day. If I can't handle it, then I'll do half a volume. I hope you guys don't mind me doing half a volume. And then I'll probably like, dude, if, if, if that's the case where I can't handle it and I give up halfway, <laughs> whatever the situation is, because maybe my, I start losing my voice or whatever the situation is, then I'll just card it over into the next week, okay? And do the other half of the volume for the next week. And then we go for it again the next week after that but if i can do the full volume then boom boom so you guys already know so let's jump into it man um let's not waste any more time i, I haven't forgotten the character's name i might mess up some of them because it's been a while i do remember what's going on in the story uh <clears throat> you know i do remember certain things but we are going to 
Um, I don't think I'm gonna go do a uh, 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 go over volume 17 right now. I don't think I'm gonna go over it, but what I'm going to do is there is going to be a new format as to how I how you see it on the screen rather than how I see it on the screen. So I have a new setup that you're going to see once we switch over okay so thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man thank you guys for being patient um hopefully the audience that was watching it because i know usually my berserk videos they do the ones on youtube they usually go for like four to five hundred views you know what i'm saying after like a week so that's pretty good in my opinion i know there are other people that review the series or they even show the panels and everything on YouTube because I've seen a couple um, and they're doing pretty good. They're having thousands of views and stuff like that. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe my format is too long. I don't know what it is because I don't cut it up. I don't edit it or anything like that, um, you know, because I want it to be as authentic as possible. I don't know what it is. But in any case, guys, let's jump in. And of course, we'll have our review at the end. So make sure you stay tuned for that. All right. So we're going to jump in. You know it's gonna be blocked, so don't ask me. I'm gonna try to to not block it as much as I used to, but I'm gonna, just gonna have probably like the logo just sitting there in the middle for you guys on YouTube. But you can always go to the link in the description and go watch it on the Google Drive with no interruption whatsoever. All right, let's go do this. All right, guys. So I've switched over to a new format. So now I'm in the middle of the screen. Um, should I make myself a little smaller? Oh no. Well, let me bring myself down a little bit. I think I'm a little too big. It's a little bit smaller, okay? So I'm not too much in the way, but you could still see my reaction. I'm in the middle of the screen. Um, you know whatever I did this for Ippo too and it went well so let's do this man all right volume 18 berserk let's get it all right so now we can see you know everything that's on screen I don't have to drag anything cuz I have this big ass TV in front of me it's great it's awesome it's awesome and you can see the greatness on a full full screen it's great it's great it's awesome all right let's do this all right so yo kid hand that over and scram okay so i remember far and east and all of them take a hike this is the only food i've managed to get in four days why don't you try finding your own? Grown-ups ain't supposed to steal from kids. You make me sick. All right. That from a, that from a sneak tea thief? Why don't I make sure you never become one of those sickening grown-ups right here and now? Huh, punk? Anything else over here? No. You and your big head looking like a retarded toddler. <laughs> say to say to myself deep down. I say to myself deep down. <laughs> I can hear you, you know. <laughs> yeah, don't sweat the details here. I don't want to die before knowing a woman. F food. Not bad. There's even liquor. Seeing this much food left behind, the folks from this village must have really been in a hurry to leave. All thanks to the Kushan. Is it good? Yeah. But you don't get any. But, okay, so he's, <laughs> they're taunting him. Okay, uh -huh. is that so? Those are the rations I scrapped. I scraped together, trying like hell to evade the Kushan. At least take the time to savor him. All right, already. Just get. Ugh. I wonder if he gave them <laughs> bad food. He's like, hey, what gives? Like, yuck, yuck. 
kid, what did you <laughs> What do you do? This stuff really works. Sure was expensive. My shares right here. <laughs> I don't like being made fun of, see? Not by overgrown overgrown jerks like you guys. Little this dude really about to hit this dude with an axe. Little punk, I'm gonna crack your head open. Oh, get slapped with sausages. Oh man. Ooh, and he hit him in the face with the sword. Reminds me of guts. <laughs> He's like, don't call me punk. The name's Isidro. Is it Isidro? <laughs> Isidro, relax, it's non-lethal poison. You live, I think. <laughs> you guys should take this chance to quit this gig and go straight. You really suck to be preached at by a kid. See ya, adios. Hey, what happened? Everybody's down. Enemies? Oh crap, there's more of them? Calm down, think, think. What? What happened? Who, who are you, kid? Was it the Kushan? He starts crying. He's like, Wah, I wash, I was so scared. <laughs> I really, uh, I really do want to cry. It's the, it's the Kushan. The Kushan army came. It's like, what? It's like, this is bad, man. No, no, he did it. What do we do? If we don't get away quick, but where are they? We ain't got time to stand around. <laughs> He's like, morons. They're like, hold up, boy. This is pretty weird. If the Kushan army was here, how come we didn't hear who's? And look, the guys on the ground don't have any sword wounds. And, and yeah. Hey, who are you, boy? If the Kushan came, why are you the only one all right? Uh, well, look, I'm a child. <laughs> the Kushan don't show mercy even to kids. So where are the Kushan? He's like, crap, crap, I'm dead. Over there. I'll have to distract them and take off. Oh, damn, what was that? Yo! Huh? Somebody just threw something into this dude's face, bro. What is this? Bro, what? They're like, huh? Yo, the Kushan is here? Is this the Kushan? Yo, they ain't got no eyeballs. Who are these guys? Who are they? When did they? Kushan. Dear Kushan, scouts, we're surrounded. I think I have this up too much. Hold on. Let me bring my display down a little bit here so you can see all of what I'm reading. All right, let's take, I uh, think I'm gonna, let me take off the logo then. Uh, which one is that? Okay. Let's take off the logo, okay? So you guys can see what I'm seeing exactly. Because when I scroll down the page, you guys are not seeing um, all of it. So let's see here, okay. I forgot that I went full screen. Okay, so who are they? When did they? Kushan, they're Kushan Scouts. We're surrounded for real. Yo, these knives though. Oh snap, isn't this, this is where that dude is from, right? Remember the dude that was in the cave, the, the, the dudes that were, that the king hired to kill um, Casca and them? What was their names again? I don't, I don't remember what they call, I don't remember if it was Kashan, but I'm pretty sure that's where that guy is. I guess he's a part of this clan. It's like, they want to fight? Let's run, too late. It's like, son of a bitch. Damn, they're all dead now. Cause these guys, they don't play. 
Damn. And they're getting stabbed through the helmet. Right through the helmet, bro. That's crazy. The precision. They're nasty, bro. Ooh. Right in the eye. This guy's going in. This guy throws a destructo disc. <laughs> oh. Ooh. You bastards. Damn, bro. They don't stand a chance against these guys. They're too fast. And they attack, like, right in between the armor. They're hitting the right spots, bro. They're like, no freaking way. Yo, they don't play games. In the blink of an eye, all dead. Oh, damn. Are they going to kill the kid? Ooh. 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 Look at the man. The myth. The legend. With the dragon slayer. The dragon slayer. Coming in. The black swordsman himself. Guts. Let's go. Let's go. He's like, who? Who's he? He's walking this way. They're chattering amongst themselves. <laughs> Guts is like, what's he thinking? Does he know he's about to get killed? Ooh, Guts is like, hmm, god damn it. <laughs> Conviction arc, birth ceremony chapter, Kushan Scouts part two. All right, next chapter. They go after Guts. Guts pulls the Dragon Slayer. Ooh. How many did he take at once there? How many did he take at once? My God, that is deadly. Look at that. He sliced four of them all at once. Bruh, that is nuts. They're like, we're dead. I don't know how, but we're dead. Four of them are... Oh, your eye, you got eyeballs now. Oh. <laughs> they got eyeballs real quick, don't they? They get eyeballs real quick, don't they? All right. They got them eyeballs real quick. <laughs> All right. Wasn't that a bit sudden? <laughs> Oh my god, didn't think I'd get to try it out so soon. Uh, <laughs> oh my. The blood. Ooh. What's that freaking huge thing? Is it a sword? In one swing, he left those Kushan monsters in pieces. He's like, hey, clear the road, I'm in a hurry. Who are you people? He's like, and he don't even know. Ooh, somebody else coming up. He's like, no need for talk. Teeth everywhere. No need for talk, huh? An iron fist. He's a walking weapon. Hey, punk. <laughs> He's like, here, head down and don't move. Jeez, this is the problem with kids. <laughs> That's so funny that Puck is talking to uh, this kid here <laughs> like that. They like throw stuff at Guts. Guts is just blocking them with his shotgun arm. You know what I'm saying? His cannon arm. And then, no. Guts did not just cut through this building, my guy. What? He cut through the building. I'm, bro, he cut through the building. Wow. He goes in again. Two more coming at him. Ooh. He saw the sign. He opened up his eyes and he got chopped in the head. <laughs> bro, he saw it coming. He was in the air. He couldn't dodge it. But it looks like. Oh, man. Look at that. 
eyeballs, pulp, eyeballs, eyeballs coming out. Right? Boom. We got. There's so many of them. How many scouts are there? And Guts is fighting you guys with one eye open. Oh crap, he's surrounded. They're coming, they're all jumping in now. Ooh. Oof. Guts jumps into the air. It looks like he turns. And now. Oh. Oof. I don't know why is it that when. When you see people dying. I don't know why. Why would I stay there trying to jump in. When I just saw this guy with one swing of the sword. Cut through four people. Why. Please explain to me why would I contest this person? Why do I not like my life? Is that it? I would quit. I would quit the car, the Carshans, whatever they call themselves. I would quit. I would, Kashans, whatever they call themselves. I would quit. I would be like, no. It was it, it was the cutting for me, you know what I'm saying? It was the cutting. It that's 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 what it is, you know. All right, this man just cut through all of them dudes like they were nothing. Look at them, dumbass. See a man do all that and you still out here trying to fight? Nice. <laughs> Hey kid, you've got food on you, liquor too. I can smell that you're hiding them. <laughs> the kind of work I'd expect from Godo. <laughs> of course, Godo is a god at weapons. Ah, they'll do us thanks, so don't sweat it. Cause Godo did um, cause he he went back with so much um stuff. You know what I'm saying? With so many nicks and so much damage to the sword, but Godo repaired it. Right? Was that they'll do his thanks, so don't sweat it. Awesome. Let's get going, Puck. Who is that? <laughs> now he's dragging all that food by himself. Just a sec. <laughs> Puck is a trip. Who were those guys? They look like people I've never seen before. This worthless crap ate up time. But I think it was in, was it in the few, it was in the past. No, but Guts has never, Guts never encountered him. If I'm, if I remember correctly, I don't remember exactly, but we met somebody from, from this crew before. Oh, this worthless crap ate up time. Now he just dipping. Meanwhile, <laughs> it's like, is this acceptable, young master? Letting him go now? I don't mind. Our duty has Bakiraka is to scout. It's not my intent to let a witness live, but there's no need for further sacrifices. Master of Tapas, a yogich a yogic practice that releases kundalini, kundalini energy, which can be used to force boons from the gods. But with our power as Tapasa, don't underestimate him. You might be able to beat him, but not without suffering loss. So, young master, do you know that man? It was a long time ago. That's why I said they've met. It's the same dude. I said, I know somebody from that crew, man. It was, it was a long time ago. Very long time ago. Regardless, there is but one thing we must do now. Search for the land of Oracle. Because he, he, he escaped because he was working for 
he was working for the for the king. What's going on with these guys? What are they? They all have different stuff on their forehead. Okay. Faster. Faster. Hurry. Where are they going? What is this? Conviction Art Bird Ceremony Chapter 2 ends. Okay. Tower of Shadow. Again, another priest. Heretics. The work of heretics. Heretic hunts will again scourge. Shh. All right. Oh, wow. What is that? You know, I don't want to stop and oogle over the art. We know the art is great, man. It's, 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 it's unbelievable. And it's also one of the best art in manga that I've ever seen. Hands down. You know, so I definitely got to give this, this dude is a beast with the, with the pencil. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. We got the people camping. Oh, wow. And, and then they start, what are they fighting over? Rat? Are they, f they're fighting over a rat bro that's crazy man they must be going through it look at this dead people just starving to death that's just sad who are these people okay alms alms please alms Fools, these are offerings to the monastery. Charity is rationed to each of you every day. That vegetable scrap soup ain't enough. I bet you people eat your fill every day. Like, have mercy. Stop that. Please have mercy. What are you doing? Oh, so it's Farnese in them. Okay. The Holy Iron Chain Knights. Oh no. Seize them all. Let none escape. Why are they seizing them? This is all of them. What are you people thinking? Laying hands on offerings to the temple. Is this what believers do? They are sick. We've only had watery soup for days. Um, what do you mean by watery soup? <laughs> what do you mean by watery soup? I guess he's talking about the texture because you can have, you know what I'm saying? Soup can be watery and soup can be very, you know, you can have thick soup, you know, creamy soup, you know what I'm saying? So I guess it was very watery. <laughs> Most of the trees around, they've been cut down. We haven't firewood for the winter our bodies just can't take this we've called on the holy sea for provisions medical supplies and other commodities you aren't the only one suffering i beg you this child hasn't even strength left to nurse he's on the brink of death he needs god's divine protection he's like she's like what so far in east, um you know is saying stuff <laughs> she's saying stuff um right she's saying stuff very well very well then what is she going to do who is this on top of the hill just chilling in light of your boldness God shall show his mercy who is this cartoon looking person, okay? Looking like a piece of wood in this piece. Father Mosgas. But what of discipline? I have considered that too naturally. But the facts that I happen to be here, that she broke the law for her own child, and that she was captured before me, are surely all by God's guidance. 
I say love need not no fear, or self-sacrifice and pure love shall find reward. She's like, thank you, thank you so much. These will come to the monastery for now. I don't trust this dude. He has a weird looking face. I don't trust him. As I said, he has a weird looking face. I don't like him. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep on. People are throwing stuff out their windows. They're eating the scraps. Wow. That's crazy, man. Look at them. That's what it means to be poor. You know what I'm saying? Try to eat. Trying to trying to live. Trying to stay alive. It's crazy. Anyways. We got... What? What kind of punishment is this? Wow. You know? Alright, let's move on. Lead them that way. Do not worry. You will see them again later. You must come hither. There now, swallow. Hmm. He seems to have settled with rest and nourishment. He should recover straight away. Oh, yes. I too have sent a letter requesting aid to the holy to the holy see it should reach them ra readily also i will try to convince the abbot to divide some portion of the offerings from before amongst the refugees um what can i say thank you so much thank you so much i do not like this guy he has a very conniving weird face i don't like him okay <laughs> I did <laughs> nothing but execute the will of God. See, not even Farnese is really messing with him like that. The child will bear the weight of payment later. Hey, eh? now come hither. Your faithful service awaits you. I don't know what this dude is up to. I just don't like his face. Okay, what is this door? Okay. Okay. All right. Ugh. What is this? Yo, what is this? Bro, what's with all the torturing going on in here? Bro! Not cool. Are these people being punished? Like the like the heretics? Like are they being punished because of sins or something? Bro, she's being hung up by her tits. What? What is going on here, man? Bruh. This is the first you have set foot in this room, I believe, Miss Farnese. The environs of this Albion monastery comprise now a den of sinners, the garden of this holy house where God's will is studied. It is deplorable, thieves, rapists, murderers, and above all, heretics. As I, as I said, this is where they're punishing the, the heretics. This is what they do recently. Another monk was murdered in the refugee slum. His mercilessly flayed skin and robes were hung upon the bow of a, of a tree. Thanks to information supplied by zealous believers and the devoted work of the Holy Iron Chain Knights, we were able to capture many suspicious individuals upon inquisition. More and more of them are confessing to being heretics and many among those who have become converts how truly de delightful wow she's being hung up by her titties bro she's being hung up by the titties 
thou shalt not avert thine eyes. I'm sorry. The hellish spectacle is one aspect of the holy sea to which you belong. God does not rain benevolence alone upon this earth. He is also a strict arbiter. Thou shalt not flee. Your love and courage which led you to violate the law while trying to save your child should be extolled. But sin is sin. I knew there was something creepy with this guy. It's like, you possess such courage. I do so want you to overcome this trial provided by God. Behold, see how your brethren have waited anxiously for you. Wow. Look at this, bro. They're just torturing them. Thou shalt not fear. Entrust all into the Lord's hands. Look at this face, man. How can you look at this man's face and trust him in any way possible? No. no, no. Yeah. Damn, they lock her in there and they're about to, what, burn her? I... I don't know what this is. I don't know. I don't know. I think. Eh. Eh. Think that's what's there. I don't know. Oh my god. Tar. Let me go. I ain't kill no priest. I ain't no heretic. Heretic. There was high witness testimony of the crime itself. We will investigate that next. Save your rot. There ain't a one who's come back safe yet. That isn't true. If you're proven innocent, you will immediately... Alms. Did somebody throw something at her? What the hell is this? <laughs> He's like, alms. Oh, Lord. Alms. Bro. Man, that's a child. God damn it. Who did this? Who set me up? I'll kill you. When I come back, I swear I'll kill you. Bring him along. Damn you. Oh, well. That guy lived off the fears of other people around here. It's because he didn't fit in with the rest. So it's good riddance for him. Damn. Both the rats and the scapegoats make me want to vomit. Oh. Hey, how about a little focus? Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. Is this okay, though? Your fellow soldiers are hard at work out there, but you're here even before sunset? Like, you don't like it? Like, it's not that. You're special. You come here this way every day. Glad I'm not just a job. That lady commander seems frightening, though. I worry that you'll get in trouble. He's like, I don't like the commander. None of us do. She opens her mouth and it's duty. Faith. Or some crazy order. Or she doesn't give us a word of thanks. She's not as skilled as a man, nor does she excel in command. Well, it is tradition that the leader of the Holy Iron Train Knights be a woman, but if she's ornamental, I wish she'd try harder to act like it. I'm sure it's pretty hard. The only woman among a bunch of men. Ah. I can't see why they work so hard at this twisted duty, you libertine. Okay, weird. Bruh. She just came in. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, uh-oh. Elaine, this is the work tent. I told you not to come in here. Jeez. Ah, that scared me limp. Sorry, she's my little sister. Like, what's with the bandages? She needs them for the job. Syphilis. 
she had some bad luck. It's already started showing on her face. Damn, that's a pity. I guess I'm done for today. Sorry. I'll give you a freebie next time. It's like here, the usual fee. And then this. Wow, pretty. It's pretty expensive. Nothing the masses could afford. I'm glad. But isn't it kind of wasted on me? I mean, these are pearls. It's like... Maybe I've just I've just done enough. He's simping for for a whore. <laughs> Once my duty here is through, I'll take you back with me. As the next head of my family, there's no way I can marry you. But hey, nobles everywhere have their mistresses. I'll set you up in luxury. We'll bring your sister too. Get her a good doctor. What's she doing? Thank you, Jerome, though I won't hold my breath. She says, bye. I swear if I took every sweet nothing I heard seriously, I'd never make it as a prostitute. <laughs> hey, hey, we heard that, Luca. You guys. Lucky you, Luca. I'd love to be told something like that by someone, not even nobility, just a wealthy young merchant. The best you could do is a shop apprentice. <laughs> what are you joking about? What are you joking about? Isn't it best to be in, in good with the officials when danger comes? That's why I say. So yeah, Luca. Yeah, yeah. I know. Come in. If you insist. Don't eat it all at once. We know, we know, you always save us. And then this. Oh, that knight gave that to you? Wow, that's so pretty. What a waste. Listen to me. Divide the pearls up evenly among everyone. Huh? But it was for you, Luca. Uh, I'll take an equal share, of course. Didn't we decide from the start each person's income will be shared equally among us without exception? But, yeah, something expensive like this. It's like, listen, peep. Fuquet and Lucy, listen close. We're prostitutes. It's a job that's, at best, shunned and scorned by society. And we're working right in the middle of a heretic hunt, you know? Do you get how much harder that makes it for us to survive? It wouldn't be strange to be betrayed by someone as a witch at any moment. At the least, we need to watch ourselves outside, so stirring up coals of envy and suspicion amongst each other is absurd. People are shallow things. If anyone has even a bit more than they do, they're jealous. And if one has less, they look down on her. A small difference makes them hangry and hateful. Sadly, it's especially true for those like us who have nothing. It's like, that's not true. We all, it's like, yes, that's why. We do this every day to prove we aren't that way. Our trust is backed up by action. We share a common fate. There's no other way for us to survive here. Now, as always, we'll share half our earnings with the neighbors. Like, what again? What a waste. Ah, didn't I tell you it's to avoid petty jealousy? The most dangerous thing in this world is to have too much. If you don't want to be ratted on, get out there and spread some goodwill around. Yes, ma'am. Ah, one's missing. Okay. Count them. No. <laughs> it knocked it out of her head. It's like, oh. Oh! That's Koska, ain't it? Is this Casca? 
Bruh, I did not see this coming. It's Casca. It has to be. I mean, her hair is longer. You have to deal if it's a bit snug. A defenseless beauty like you wandering around a place like this isn't safe for even one day. You're just the right victim for the starving men. I really think that people should work to earn their own keep, but I won't make you. I can't force you without your own consent, not as a fellow woman. Besides, the brand on this girl's chest, it looks like it means something. I can't even tell the others that much. That alone could start a scare about it being a witch's mark. Nina, I'm going to do one more job. Please take care of everyone's meal. And Elaine? Sure. And also this. I told a doctor customer about you and he gave me this as payment. He said to drink a mouthful morning and night. Thanks, Luca. I'll go draw some water. I don't know how women in the, you have women in the world that do this stuff. Like I, 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 it it baffles me to no end that women actually do this. You know what I'm saying? All right, what's going on here? See, she's walking out with Casca here. I did not expect Casca to show up here. At this whole time I'm reading this, that's the last thing on my mind. It's like you heretic! Damn, they're stoning this guy. Wow. Throw. Don't ask. Just throw quickly. Oh. Did they hit her? I think she got hit or something. Yeah. So she's got to throw stones too, which she don't want to. She closed her eyes and threw it. It's like, Tis the hawk. The goddess of flames revelation. The hawk shall alight. Whatever that means. After it repels the barbarians, it shall lead us to be one nation. None of you must forget this. This is a long chapter. <laughs> this one was longer. Shut up, old man. Go away. What if someone mistakes us for heretics, too? Elaine, don't. It's a pity. It used to be us poor folk could get on well with the priest, but ever since this heresy business scared everyone out of their wits, Father, hush. Okay, I don't know why Casca keeps reaching out like she's reaching out to someone. Like she recognizes somebody there. People are just dying. They just die on the trees. This is just crazy, bro. All right, she caught the water. Casca is still reaching out for something. It's like the bleeding won't stop. It's mixed with pus too. And the inside of my mouth is swollen. So I'm guessing she's really the one with syphilis. Or something. The bleeding won't stop. Maybe I'm done for. <sighs> the doctor told me with this disease, if bad blood starts through my head, I'll go crazy. Will I become like you? Do you not fear anything, Elaine? I didn't expect Casca to show up, man, but she here. She here. All right. Here. We're in the shadow of that tower almost all day. Even though God is here, why does it seem so grave and terrible? Scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. So scared. I can't stand it. Luca, 
of dying, of living, of this world, of God, of everything. So scared, I can't stand it. Okay. Man. All right, I think we are. All right, so we got... I'm just looking at my audio here making sure that everything is good all right so we got um, Casca here this man people just nobody buries anyone around here but now all these souls are waking up because of that damn brand children of shadow Though I prayed, anguish, I kept praying, pain, sacrifice, give back body, sacrifice. So cold, my warm body, where is my warm body? <laughs> so cold, curse you, curse you, God, I'm hungry, sacrifice. Once more, sacrifice. And this this baby, man. Casca's baby just be showing up, bruh. It's crazy, man. Alright. They're like, ah, she's going towards us. It's like, whoa, what's wrong, Elaine? Come on, let's go. It's getting dark. Ah. Uh, damn. Ooh. Get a large dose of reality, huh? You really want to serve these people there? Look at what they're doing, but by in the name of God. And they get a kick out of that. Sh they get a kick out of it, man. All right, let's see here. So, the sours the wine. This sours the wine. For God's sake, do we have to tolerate that damn screaming during dinner time? Why do the only high and chain knights have to help out this muskus in the first place? I thought our task was just to guard him. Now we're practically his personal army. What's she thinking, our commander? It's almost like she's trying to score points with this Moscus. Talk about a praise worthy of heart of faith. A praise worthy heart of faith. Hey, or maybe it's her woman's heart. Shh, she hears you. Did somebody just throw a, a bowl over there? It's like, oh my, I apologize. Please be more careful. It's like, why is a dolt like him a herald of arms? Because he wags his tail and licks her boots like that? Don't waste food. I'm sorry. Even so, they've increased again. Who has? The refugees. Sometimes it scares me. It's like I get the feeling that Albion is being besieged by these refugees day after day. Whatever. Feeding the crows. Or weird in out with the crows. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes? Did somebody call you? Why are you just saying yes? <laughs> Nobody said anything to you, bro. Ah, Father Musgus. The, the master is presently in the, the chapel. I'm about to call on him. Let us go together. Okay, so they're climbing the stairs. Were you astonished? Uh, no. At them playing with the birds or by their appearance? Well, 
I would say both. Uh, they're good natured. We have each been cruelly persecuted because of our appearance. We have been chased from villages and towns, sold to circuses, and some among us have lived secretly in forests loathe as monsters. Holy moly. We got another Griffith. We got another guy, Princeton, out here looking like a girl. <laughs> he seems handsome enough. Please observe. I have this ailment since birth. When in contact with sunlight, my skin becomes inflamed as if it had been scalded. My constitution is also weak, and without this mask, I would most likely succumb to contagion within three days. I was driven from my village and the world of men to a place where my burnt, racked body would be seen by none. Curse in this world, I sought to rot away, alone within the hollow of a tree by the wayside. It was then that I happened to meet Father Moscus. Lord God, I give thanks for this fated encounter, said the master as he covered me with his robe and affectionately blocked the light of the sun. Again, we were all told this by him. People may call you demons or monsters for your appearance, but they are in error, because in these scriptures not a word is written which condemns you as such. Rather, I think that you are all granted these forms for some reason. That is the fate that the Lord has dealt you. Fate? Yes, as proof I happened across each of you in like manner. Your unusual appearances and your hearts filled with hatred and fear from the days when you were driven away by people, all of that is needed by God. My children chosen by fate have pride and have faith. It came as a shock, such that I quivered, that I detested as monstrous to the point that even I believed it was true. Beaten continuously like a craven dog, I'm needed by God. Yes, it was a miracle. I do not enjoy this work. I am shunned hated and feared. Neither can I come to enjoy hurting people. I feel as if I really have become a monster. Well, perhaps I could not do these things to people if I were not such. However, even so, I do have pride because this is the holy post granted to me by God and recorded by the Holy See in Scripture. That sound, sound of worship, the master's worship. Okay. That's crazy. This dude rescued some people. Now he got them torturing the, her the heretics, heretics, whatever. Um, oh, wow. What is he doing in here? Yo, this man is face planting out here. He, this man is serious about his worship, dude. Face planted, laid out. Ooh. That's some dedication right there. That's some dedication. Fierce believer. <laughs> Fierce believer. All right. Wow. I respect it, man. I respect it. You ugly as hell. But you gotta respect him on that worship tip, though. What? It is prostration. Father Moscos repeats it morning and night, a thousand times a day. As far as I know, in the past ten years, Father Moscos has not missed one day of throwing himself down in prayer to God. So this is the secret behind that face. <laughs> he seems to have finished. 
Father Moscos. Ah, Miss Fornice. Father, you are bleeding. Like, ha. Ah, please pardon me. I failed to notice, as I can hardly feel my legs. It's said that a sage once imprisoned in this tower <laughs> by Supreme King Gesserit continued to proclaim the sins of the king to God in the midst of every possible torture until in time an angel was made to descend. Surely this holy ground is mirac miraculous virtue. It must also fill worship with power. And he bows and he says, thank you. Oh, he's fixing his leg. Oh, okay. It's a wrap in his knees. In a short time, the sensation will return along with the pain. Thanks to these injuries, I can barely walk. Running is already beyond me. But I hold this pain dear to me. My sacred duty is to enforce the strict laws of God. Sadly, this also means that I must bring much pain to others. Of course, I feel no guilt. But when the time comes when one chooses to live by vocation, one becomes negligent of his personal life. All the more so for one in a position such as mine. To me, these wounds are precepts, evidence of faith. He's putting Farnese to shame right now because she thinks she out here worshiping. <laughs> she thinks she really did think she out here worshiping. She got nothing on Moss Goose. She got nothing on Moss Goose. Okay? Does something trouble you? Huh? Would you see fit to confess to me? I could ask the others to leave. Like, would you please hear me out? It's like, it's like, okay, so no, not, that is not, I have totally should have read this before this, so. He said, no, that is not necessary. Would you please hear me out? It's like, I, I do not understand. Can people really be saved through this task? Even though we arrest many suspects, there is no indication at all that the priest murders will cease. The reports say the refugee attitude towards us grows malicious, and that is not all. I am ashamed of it, but there are more than a few even among my holy iron chain knights who speak out, speak out against our duty. Please laugh at the nonsense of my inexperience, but at this rate I wonder if all we are doing is uselessly spreading fear and impoverishing impoverishing people's spirits. Hmm. I shall tell you a story. In ancient times, there was a holy woman who practiced poverty and devoted her entire life to the aid of others. It is said that she would seek out those dying, abandoned by the world of man without even a second glance due to poverty, disease, and the like. She would cover them with blankets, embrace them, and hold their hand like a mother, so they could at least have peace when God called for them. One time she discovered, fallen by the wayside, an emaciated old man who was dying. As always, she embraced the man and grasped his hand. But this is what he said. The fact that I am lying here rotting by the wayside is proof that I have lived the proud life of solitude and independence. Please do not disgrace my sublime moment of death with your warmth. A person knows not what succeeds in helping. Perhaps it is all the more in God's hands for that. And more than anything, our actions must not use ourselves 
as a standard for others. Everything is within these scriptures. God, for God and God alone do we act. There's some powerful statements this guy's making, man. I, I know he, he had, but I'm not agreeing with the torture or anything like that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, is some of the stuff that he's saying it, it is it, it makes sense. You get what I'm saying? Like he preaching right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he preaching to the choir, but he preaching. <laughs> you know, thou shalt not deplore distressing duties. Thou shalt not deplore the people's misunderstandings. Thou shalt not fear thine own death, nor the deaths of others. Thou shalt not seek retribution for thine actions. Thou shalt not question God. Whatever blood we spill in spirit or flesh, as man we continue to exist devoutly for God. That is what faith is about. Not really, but hey, if you want to say it like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, deplore distress and duties. Deplore the, the people's understanding. Thou shalt not fear thine own death, nor the death of fathers. Thou shalt not seek retribution for thine actions. Um, some of this stuff is very true. Thou shalt not question God. Whatever blood we spill in spirit or flesh. As man we continue to exist devoutly for God. This part I completely disagree with. Okay. Whatever blood we spill in spirit or flesh. As man we continue to exist devoutly for God so are you saying that there's no consequences and he's like that is what faith is about I think I think it's a lot more to faith than that you know but I get what this what he's saying though may the Lord be with you hmm master please let us return yes then let us indeed. This man looks like a statue. Okay. He looks like a statue. We're going to. Eh? Somehow that was shady. A flawless argument. God. For God and God alone do we act. It's a bit one-sided in, in what he's saying. It's a lot of one-sidedness as if you are you really don't have free will you know what i'm saying and there's no consequences to actions or anything that you do in the name of said god so yeah i'm not completely agreeing with that here old lady thank you always nina thanks to you i'm feeling much better these days i'm glad but don't push yourself Hey, stop that, Elaine. Stop what? <laughs> Casca is out here playing. At least she's kind of happy. Ah, uh, stop. You'll get your clothes muddy. They, should, they don't even... I don't even think they know. You know what I'm saying? I just feel so sorry for her. Nina. Sure, Kim. Uh-huh. I'm on break right now. If this is business, please ask another girl. He's like, I know. No, uh, you know, right? What shape my body's in? Huh? Huh? Or maybe you know and you still want to have me. Customer. I, I was just worried about you. Whatever kind words you say. I can't give you any more freebies. Don't you get it? I... No, that's not what... Then just have me already. I, I, what is wrong with this girl? Just... He's just like... I think he might like her like her. You know? And he's like... He can't get it out. He's like... If you're really brave enough... Come to the riverside tonight when the midnight bell tolls. 
you got sores and stuff in your mouth, girl. Like, you should calm down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's up, Nina? It's too early for shouting. Hey, Nina. It's nothing. She just dives into the pillow. Oh, he definitely went. He's like, so she went there. He's like, you came. He's like, Nina. She hugs him. He's like, answer me, Joachim. Do you love me? Uh, yeah, I do. Then can you lie with me? Can you die with me? What are you talking about, girl? Could you fall to hell if it was together with me? Like, yeah, if I'm with you, boy, if you don't listen, man, that's on the house. Come on, come with me. Where to? The edge of the world. Where scary God isn't. <laughs> that girl, she couldn't be. Uh, she's following them. I think. Casca, I tr she just sneezed. <laughs> okay. Man, these things just follow them. All right. Next chapter. Do I need to switch? No, we're 20 minutes in. All right. So they're following each other. Bowels of the underground. Oh, the depravity. Humans cannot be boundless. Without shape. Free from fear and anxiety. But at the bottom of this cavern, such certainly existed. Oh, damn. So it's just one big art. Yo, this guy goes way too far with the art sometimes, bro. I don't need to see this, man. It's too real. <laughs> this manga is too real, bruh. It's too real. Look at all this. We're seeing penetration. Cunnilingus. You know what I'm saying? Fellatio. Everything is just... Uh, was an undulation of flesh. Known as sin. Now I'm going to have to look for this page. And make sure it's blotted out on YouTube. Oh my god. I know I'm going to have the logo up there. So you know um oh my god. Uh now I'm going to have to look for this and and block it out on YouTube now. Oh man. Known as sin. All right. So they're just being free to just you know, just let the balls hang. Why does these guys look like? Oh, they just playing dress up. It's just so much going on here, bruh. The depravity. He's like. He's like. Ah, uh, come on. Let's go down. It's like so. She's. Just one big orgy. Jeez. Like, N Nina. She just want to be free. I don't think this is what he was trying to get himself into. What is all that dripping? What is this? Hold on a second. Did I miss something? What are they putting on her? What is all this stuff all over their hands and stuff? Are they... I hope that's not come. Jesus Christ. No. <laughs> oh my... This... This... What? Bro... Mm-mm. 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 
God damn, bruh. I'm, I, I'm, bruh. God damn. Come, let's run away together. She she getting fingered by two I mean, look at this what's going on in this scene right here. I'm spending a little bit too much time with this on the screen too. <laughs> Yo, I mean, we've seen some graphic scenes in here, but this is just this is an orgy. It's like, is this a drug? Man, all I can say is j just enjoy it, bruh. <laughs> what can I say? Because it's not like you can walk away now. You might as well get in there and get some. You just, you know what I'm saying? Might as well. Be free. Why does it look like his arm is like going into her breast what kind of an illusion something is just not okay with this scene who is this dragon looking fire lady we got a whole lot of graphicness I feel like I'm watching like I'm reading some hentai comic or something <laughs> Yo. Tis the goddess of flame. Goddess of flame. Goddess of flame. A hallucination. They've mixed drugs into the cook pot. Oh. We got double penetrate. Bruh. What possessed this guy? Bro, bro, I'm going to have to block this entire part of this out. This is ridiculously graphic. Like, he just got, he just was like, yo, we not censoring nothing. We just going all out. Bro, I got to put this on YouTube. Chill. People getting cum in their eyes. Bruh, what? Oh my god, she's. Yo! Oh no, man. Oh, no. I'm falling. Oh my god. He busts. <laughs> he busts, bruh. He busts. He busts, man. Inside her now, Joaquin. Oh, great goat. <laughs> I have brought this one to have him convert. My God, it's a cult. It's a whore cult. You recite these words to defile God. Next, kiss his heart and his member. Oh, hell nah. Nigga, you better not. <laughs> you better not kiss this nigga dick. <laughs> you better not, bro. No. Ugh, why does it shape like a snake? Ugh. Ugh. He did. He kissed it. Ugh. Now, this is the last part. If you drink this, you'll be one of us. Gah. Joke him. 
Is that a finger coming out of his mouth? Bro, this is crazy. This isn't an illusion. Oh my god. Yo, my dude is taking off. Kill that man. He means to betray us. <laughs> I just I just did. I just went, F this man. I'm out this piece. Deuces. <laughs> Yo. They go catch him though. Did he slip? Oh, he slipped. He slipped off the cliff. She came out. Had a nice camel toe though. <laughs> she came out. I gotta block this entire part out for YouTube. Guys, I'm probably not even I'm I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I'm probably not gonna put this on YouTube. Cause this is too this is too much. You know what I'm saying? Like it's too much and I would have to block out practically practically from where I'm sitting. It's gonna be tough for me to just block out just the screen because I would have to put it like up above me. But you could still see it at the bottom scrolling up. So I don't know, man. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out because I don't wanna you know, I'll figure it out. She just watching you die, bruh. Well, at least you got the bus. <laughs> He's dead, yeah? No surviving from this height. Let's go back. Someone might hear it and come look. Go on ahead. Hmm. And she just starts laughing or crying. I, I don't know what she's doing. Is she laughing or crying? She was smiling and then she started crying. You big liar. What? I said go on ahead. Yeah, it's not it's not them. It's like Nina. Luca, why? Nina, she grabbed the stone and threw it at her. He's like, "No, keep back. Keep back. Stay away. Don't come near me." Oh, now you're ashamed? Oh, damn. She actually hit her in the head with a stone. She's walking up. If you come any closer, I'll jump off. What? What's the big idea? You know what? You've never done right by me. You've been high-handed and intolerable, acting like you know everything, proudly ordering people around. Even right now. What's with that look? You're pitying me. Do you despise me? That's how you get so big and full of yourself? You're the same as me. Just a whore. How can you look down on other people like that? The people that way. I messed that up. She's a mess. If I call out loud enough, my friends will come back. And they'll tear you to pieces. Yo. Yo, Luca, Luca just clapped her in the face, slapped her in the face. Ow, what are you, oh my God, she is going to spank her. She put her over her lap and she's going to spank her. Oh my God, like a spoiled brat. She is whooping her behind right now. <laughs> Please stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Girl, you worry me so. Ooh. You really are a silly girl. Luca, do what can I? Don't say anything right now. Come on. Let's just go home. Who's this then? Okay. Somebody just showed up in the middle. 
Oh, damn. Why is Casca here? Elaine. Oh, no. She's followed me here. I forgot that Casca was following them for real. What you want to con? What you want to convert? Bye. Bu. Bun. What's with your face? Ah, I know her. Isn't she a whore at Nina's place? She looks like that. Cause of syphilis or something. Seems it's on her face too. Leave her be and let's go back. I ain't raping a girl with syphilis. She won't rat on us if she's insane either. I'm getting sick in this cold. Phew. Relief, huh? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. This could be interesting. I want to take a look at a face that's rotting off. Ah! Oh, hell! Oh, looky, looky! What do we have here? There's nothing rot rotten under them under that mask. Now there's a face that could use some some of me in it. What's her body like? Let's find out. Luca, you stay put over there. No, Luca is like cuz she Luca is about to head down there. Struggle, struggle. It's more fun when they're lively. I don't want to see Casca get raped again. I've seen it enough. Oh. Oh, damn. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh, damn. Is this what she goes through when when the when the um when the the mark starts acting up? She goes through that again, or is this like waking her up? I'm telling you, man, the art in this is so good. She kicks him. It looked like she kicked him off. What's with her? What happens? Happens. You people. Huh? Yo. The sacrifice. What's that? <laughs> Yo. Taking his face. Hey, what's wrong? You hungry. Bit his face off, bruh. Say what? Yo. That's the thing, man, that mark that, you know what I'm saying, it, it attracts, you know, demons. What is this? Don't tell me it's her. Sacrifice. Woman. Flesh. Meat. Sacrifice. Elaine. The sun. So she, it looks like I think the sun keeps protecting him to protecting her. I think he's comes in to protect her. I think that's what he just did. Like he's the one that came in. Cause I think he just came right. He just came in. Cause they was about to hurt her. And he just came in through the portal right here. Showed up. But I, one of the things is that I'm I'm not quite understanding. It seems like whenever he shows up, something happens. It's like they're afraid of him or something. Elaine, you. A witch. Witch. Oh, damn. So now they're worshiping her. 
That's crazy. Damn, who is this? Ooh. I don't know who that is. I haven't trying to know right now. Did he survive? Is this the dude that fell off the cliff? I think it's him. But he's... I might be mistaken. I don't know. I think it's him that fell off the cliff. And it looks like a demon is hovering there above him. His body is still there. But something is going on over here. What is this? All right. He's like, ah, found him. Found. Okay. Found guts. Okay. He's been running a whole damn day and a half since noon yesterday. <laughs> if I haven't been lucky enough to hitch a ride with those refugees, I would have lost sight of him. <laughs> Boy, you I'm pretty sure you can't live. Look at Puck looking at him. It's like you can't lift that sword even if you tried. <laughs> So sharp, so massive. I'll bet this sword's famous. Yeah, you can't even budge that thing. Won't budge an inch. But he swings it around so easily. He's like, put your back into it. <laughs> Use your hips. See? Like this. Then put everything into the first swing. Let it loose with a shout. <laughs> This is the dark blade of obliteration. I'm Puck, seventh degree in elf dimension style. <laughs> when you request a person's name, it's good to give your own first. I didn't ask yours. Isidro. Very well, Isidro. Give us a shout and heave. Ooh, he ain't stopping me. Damn, <laughs> this sword fell on top of him. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, Guts, I, I caught Sneaky Dro. <laughs> I am um, there. De <laughs> he thought I'm um, there. He thought Guts would kill him. It ain't a kid's toy. Hmm. Looks like you've been shadowing me since yesterday. What do you want? You want to be his apprentice? Then you'll have to go through me since I'm his manager. Yeah, you wish. I ain't about to be under anyone. <laughs> Got smiles. Ha! All right, let's take a break here, guys. I'm over 40 minutes again. All right, so it's like, ah. Forget about it. I ate it all up. It's gone. You missed that food you gave to me and you've come to take it back? Oh, for shame? You ate all that? Okay, fine. Have you ever... You've got a sword? Do you want to be a fighter? Have you ever cut down anyone? Yeah, sure. One or two. Well, it doesn't make much difference. It's best if you don't hang around me much. What I do's up to me. You've got no reason to complain. Well, that is true. A hey, sneaky, <laughs> sneaky dro. <laughs> you better run. Why? It's Isidro. <laughs> They're here. What's that? Guts. The hell? Wheels? <laughs> Wagon wheels? Moving on their own? This is new. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Yo, this is nuts. Damn it. God damn it. Damn you. <laughs> it's real. What the hell is this? Hell's Angel. Damn you! I'll get you! I'll tear you apart! 
I don't recall being cursed by any wagon wheels. It's like, guess we should kill you too. <laughs> I'll never hit your swipe from another wagon ever again. <laughs> Book him. Well, he, he took it out, alright. Guts protects the kid. Wapow. They don't really have any reason to hate you or me. They just died and got stupid. And they can't tell who they're cursing. Shun of a bitch. Go to hell. I'll rip your guts out. It hurts. Curse you. Hate. Hate, huh? These guys too? It's always the same for me too. Monsters or whatever, I don't care. I just want to unleash this black mass pent up inside me. But right now. I ain't got time to mess with you. I'm in a hurry. And I'll do whatever it takes to press on. It's like, don't fall behind, <laughs> Sneaky Dro. Like you had to tell me. And it's Izzy Dro. <laughs> Alright. Guts is getting through everybody. He's like, I knew he was amazing. Hey, oh, Sneaky Dro. <laughs> You're screwed. <laughs> hey, get to rocky ground or somewhere those wheels can't go. You'll get run down if you keep following. He's like, no way. This is the open road. Where I goes up to me, all right. Where I goes up to me, all right. Passed on the inside. <laughs> Your sword, sneaky dro. Your sword. Now is the time to practice what I've taught you. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Now, elf dimension style. Dark. <laughs> dark. Wait. It broke. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is hilarious. Sneaky draw shield. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Now he's dragging him. Um... <laughs> Tossed him over the hill. <laughs> oh my god. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. Oh my god. Spirit Road end. I think this is the last one. If I'm not mistaken. No. We got two more chapters to go. So after this one. Then we have the last one. Alright. So. Hey. Hey. Looks like they're done following us. Or maybe. You just wiped them out. Hey, it's all right now. Let's drop the pace a bit. Come on, you've been running all since yesterday and with just one short nap. At this rate, you won't be able to move once you get where you're going. You're carrying this huge thing after all. I wonder what happened to that boy. Wonder if he died. Kind of seemed like you, kind of seemed like you, nasty look in his eyes and so stubborn. Piss off. Yeah, he does remind me of Guts. That's what I said when I, when, um, when we, when we just met up with him. One mo monster after another. Tonight's a monster bumper crop. <laughs> no sudden stops. Be more mindful of your landlord. <laughs> No, that's an old chum. Oh, it's a skeleton knight. Okay, why is he here? I thought I'd get your attention. You seem in good health, struggler. Hey, you know each other? I didn't think you had many human friends, but of all things, a monster? Ah, oh, that's not to say I discriminate against monsters. He may not look it, but he's pretty lonely. Please be nice to him, by the way. I'm punk. You sh shut up a minute. An elf? An interesting thing you have with you, huh? Something about him. Hmm. Two years prior, the ties that bind are strong. It's been a while, pal. What are you doing in a place like this? As I said before, I am the foe of the Inhumans. One is known to be located where I'm headed. Apostle? 
an apostle's near here possibly the leader mm. and where I'm going perhaps is also the land you seek H hold up what do you mean not that not that they're at the Tower of Conviction are you saying the God hand are there they exist everywhere in this world and place negative human thoughts swirl in a large concentration but at the same time it can be said that as a huge body of thought they cannot take flesh in this world thus they exist nowhere once again you lost me I don't have time for your annoying answers but at times there are exceptions when the concentration reaches a critical point one who should exist in the divine domain is incarnated just once in a thousand years did you not see it too the dream of the shining a hawk hmm. likely every human in the world was witness to the same thing it was a revelation that someone who signifies the hawk is going to appear in this world guts hawk Yep, Griffith, bitch ass, the hawk. I ask you this, that girl who was with you, where is she now? Could it be she's at the holy ground you seek? What? So it's true. Hey, what the hell you figure out? Why is it you know that? Give me a straight answer, goddammit. A little easier to grasp if you could. The power of God descends to earth. The concentration of that idea is called the festival and the festival is essentially a divine work it traces a phenomenon in the in the divine domain traces a phenomenon the flock and sheep who have been led to the blood splattered holy ground desire the hawk of light and you and that girl will come to throw yourselves into their midst it nearly parallels that other time the eclipse it's an attempt to imitate the eclipse ah and then he just disappears flip-flop twitch anxiety fear anger it's as if an emotional floodgate had burst inside gust inside guts ah but what's this what's this emotion you mean that'll happen again that <sighs> sacrifice one more time is this ecstasy unfortunately there's no way for man to change the course of this festival like what this world is as moonlight reflected on the water's surface the moon's light will not be extinguished so long as the moon exists in the sky, moonlight will remain on the water. And this is a thing which already was. What will follow now is a shadow. No more than a shadow cast high above the earth by light from a distant dying sun. Then you mean the results will be the same as last time? That we meet again unexpectedly here and now is proof. More than anything. We already subsist within the current of causality. We who exist beyond the physical are still merely shadows on the water. Guts. Who cares about shadows? Causality. I descended on the Tower of Conviction and go there on my own feet. Nobody ordered me to. Besides, you're forgetting. I'm really bad at giving, up, giving in. You gave me that name, the name Struggler. That whole causality bits pretty shady anyway. This proud monster once predicted something to me. A death you can never escape will pay you a visit. He was sure as hell right up till the eclipse. You said the same thing, but then what happened? Even if we swam in a sea of blood and sh shit, 
even if we got a little torn up. Both Casca and I made it through alive. Sure, you helped us out that time, but this time, I'll save her by my own strength. And then... Then... It's intense, but it's not just anger. It's more complex. Hmm. Though minute, singular details certainly can occur at the time junction point that even they can't predict. I will in turn gamble everything on that point, and even if it imitates the eclipse, it doesn't mean it will be exactly the same. The scope too has natural limits in the material domain. Furthermore, that brand carved into you, it may be off on unanticipated aid. What? As I told you before, due to the brand, you now live in the interstice. That is, the borderline between the physical and astral worlds. It's merely half a step, but you are outside the reason of the world. Maybe you aren't a shadow on the water, but instead a fish that breaches the water's surface. However, I will warn you of one thing. Fight or rescue, your lover will, le will be left alone. It won't be as simple as catching two birds. At the holy ground where blind sheep gather, see you again. Mr. Skull, huh? I don't really get it, but nifty. <laughs> you should have bummed the ride off him, you know. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, nah, never mind. Maybe I imagined it, but that guy, he kind of felt like an elf. Ooh. I'll save Casca. That's my top priority. That's why I'm here. But if he stands before me, then I'll... Let's go. Alright. It was a howling, but not like the wind. It was like the voice of a howling monster beneath the earth. When I heard that sound, I'd cower in my bed. Alone. To spend the night without sleep. Roar 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 even so i found myself drawn to the window in my room overlooking the city square there was this mysterious pillar of flame a countless number of cast shadows were wavering like some kind of festival sacrificing burn them at the stake Release! Oh man, this is burning them at the stake like hell. The wench sure doesn't seem to have trouble lighting people on fire. Oh, you didn't know, sir, Jerome? Apparently, the commander has a lot of experience when it comes to the stake, huh? Her family's own home faced the city square. It seems when the heretic hunts were widespread, that was used as a burning ground. Since the time she was a child, the commander's voluntary, voluntarily been throwing torches at the stakes. I heard the reason the search for the black swordsman was approved was her meritorious service three years ago in the Holy See, when she caught a group of rebellious heretics and sentenced them to burn at the stake. Man, talk about hardcore, good God. You there! What are you chattering about? Sir, thou shalt not deplore distressing duties. Thou shalt not deplore the people's misunderstanding. Thou shalt not fear thine own death, nor the deaths of others. Thou shalt not seek retribution for thine actions. Thou shalt not question God. Whatever blood we spill in spirit or flesh is man, we continue to exist devoutly for God. That is what fate is about. She's like, I will not be troubled. Daddy. <laughs> ah, hey, hey, lad. Your daddy's a heretic, isn't he? Does that mean, like father, like... 
See, shit like this just pisses me off, bro. Really? Really? Ugh. If not, you'll have to prove it. Here. Give this a throw. I'm saying this out of kindness. Look around at everyone's eyes. If you don't throw this here and now, you'll be the next one turned in. I... I... This dude is a bum. Hmm? Not to worry. The child bears no guilt. It was proven at his father's trial. Is that so? Beg your pardon? Whoa. I expect no gratitude. Forgive me, Lady Farnese. I do not feel well. Would you permit me to rest a spell? Very well. But personal care is part of your duty. I apologize. Slacker. Every time with the stake burnings. He just don't like seeing it. So he always finds an excuse to, to leave, I guess. Flame. At least I still cannot handle. Hey, hey, nice one back there. You're a Sir Jerome, I believe. Oh, that's the good memory you'd expect of a Herald of Arms. Why are you here? Isn't it obvious? Taking a rest, same as you. Who can stand dealing with such a damn nebul duty? Right. Right? No, I really don't feel very... There you go again. Well, it doesn't really matter. We'll just leave it at that. You know, you've really got your good points. I took you for just a pale-faced weakling. What? Don't be modest. I mean that kid back there. Friend of children. Pretty nightly of you. Uh, that, that was personal. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I am the same as that boy. My mother was also condemned as a heretic to burn at the stake. Three years ago. Before my own eyes. Tough. Oh, well, I mean, I... Do not let it bother you. It is the truth. I'm sorry. I've had a bad habit of talking too much without thinking of others' feelings. I swear never to reveal this to anyone. You have my formal apology, Sir Harold. Serpico. It's alright, though. Suddenly behaving aristocratic does not become you. I hear that a lot from the ladies. <laughs> I will be turn returning to our duty now. Thanks to you, I feel much better. Oh, okay. I think I'll go find myself a lady then. Are you sure you want to tell your herald that? You can keep a secret? Ah, uh, yes, an exchange. My, my. Fair enough, but take it easy. See you later. Yeah, take care. Hmm. Thought he was just... I thought he was just her toady. But there's a lot going on in him. Hmm. Wait, though. He said three years ago. It couldn't be. Hmm. A lot of titties in this one. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It's, it's just crazy. When I stare at the flames, I remember. Roar, roar. Before I knew it, I was descending the stairs as if lured by that sound. Roar, roar. The sound was dreadful. Unable to bear the dreadfulness, I opened the door. A crowd of countless hairy shadows wavering on the walls of the houses. The stench of burning flesh. Shouts somewhere between cheers and condemnation. I knew then, when you peel back a thin layer of the skin known as our world from secrets hidden by the night, there surges terror. Suddenly someone handed me a torch. I was frightened and threw it right away. A strange thing happened. The shadows corresponding to the torch I thrown swayed about all at once. One more. I see, I get it. When I throw in one of these, the shadows dance before it. I cast them in so many times that night. 
each time the shadows swayed, as if dancing, as if trembling. I knew it. When you peel back a thin layer of skin known as our world, there surges terror. In order to escape, you lead them, become one of them, and dance. A blessing. The Lord's blessing upon this girl. Well done, little miss, child of great faith. It must have been the heat of the flames. I could feel a strange warmth in my underbelly. Well, what is going on? So you get off on burning people alive? I, who is this? I can't make out who this person is. I'm not in the wrong. I, oh my God. I, I don't really know, you know, I don't really know. Ah oh, man, is this somebody that we know? I know the chapter. I know the this um, this chapter started out with her in the bed here, and then we got another glimpse of her here. I know the chapter started out with her with the roar, roar. When I stare at the flames, I remember. So she's looking at these flames in the room. But I don't know. It's like, do you get, is it somebody? Nah, he just had his. Hold on. I, I don't quite understand what's happening. I know this person is remembering something. And I think, I think she, she's the little girl here. And she's getting off at the fact that she felt so good throwing that stuff and seeing the shadows dance or whatever when she was actually burning someone at the stake so um i wonder who that is you know because it's not far niece not definitely not far niece i don't think it is um or maybe it is you you never know because i'm saying far niece doesn't have long hair she or does she i don't remember it's not Farnese. I'm trying to, to see if it's her or not because it wouldn't make sense because then they stole a story of her, you know, or basically she was watching all this stuff. That's why it doesn't bother her. Because I'm saying she doesn't have tall hair. Or here is, she doesn't have long hair. I'm talking about tall hair. She doesn't have long hair. Her hair is kind of short. Even when she lets out the you know, even when she lets that out. I'm trying to go back here and see if I understand what's happening here. But it seems like she's in prison at the end, though, so some mystery i don't know who that is i'm pretty sure it's not far and east pretty sure it's not her man but this is crazy how this ended though that's crazy she's getting off on it but anyways guys this is it as i said this one might not be on youtube i'm not even gonna lie it might not be but in any case guys i'm going to do the review so make sure you stay tuned for that let's get it all right so that was an interesting volume no doubt took me i want to say two hours around two hours i want to say it took me um not bad it's the exact amount of time that i fleshed out for it so it worked out very well um two hours of volume um, you know, and, you know, I stopped, made comments, so it worked out very well. Anyways, let's talk about this chapter because probably the only thing that's going to be on YouTube is the intro and the review. 
And the reason why I'm doing this this time around is because this chapter, there was a lot of nudity. And I'm not going to go over the entire thing to, I know some people do listen, so I might be blocking it, don't get me wrong, but I'm probably going to be blocking the entire screen around me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just so that no nipples show up on YouTube, you know, but in any case, let's talk about the story here, man. We got, uh, there was an appearance by the, the Skull Knight or Skeleton Knight, whatever you want to call him, right? And he, he was basically telling Guts that where I'm heading, you know, which I'm guessing he's heading to where Casca is right now, a, 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 like a, a simulation of an eclipse is going to happen and Griffith might be there. So he needs to get his ass over there. Um, I still don't understand what causality is, but I'm, I don't know if you guys even have any understanding of what causality is yet, you know, but there's more and more is being revealed. I don't really understand it, you know, but I, there's certain aspects of this manga that I really like, like it touches on a lot of religious things. Um, and I had a, a you know, a little bit to say on that when they were going through this priest, you, you know, and back in the day, they used to do a lot of things, you know, even today, you know, you still have religious people who do things in the name of God and uses God to justify these things. And I think it's very wrong because, you know, people are going to say, that's why I'm an atheist and all this stuff. I'm not an atheist. I do believe in a higher power. Um, but I believe that one of the greatest things that we have as human beings created by, you know, created by God and us being created by God is free will. Because you have the free will to decide if you want to serve the Almighty or not. That's, it's up to you. You get what I'm saying? It's up to you. Some people might say, then why is the consequence hell? There's consequence to everything that you choose in life. Why shouldn't there be a consequence of how you live your life? You get what I'm trying to say? So I'm not trying to preach to you guys or anything like that. You know, I'm just telling you my viewpoint on things is one of the things that I look forward to the most. You get what I'm saying? Um, in, in life itself of why people don't believe that we were created by someone who looks like us but a spirit you know what i'm saying and it's it's not to say that i'm trying to force you into believing if you don't believe at the end of the day as i said you have free will so i'm never going to take that choice away from you all i can do is tell you about it, it, it that's about all i can do and i think a lot of christians a lot of muslims a lot of you know whatever whoever you you believe in whether it be Buddha or whatever it is, whatever religion it is. I am not a religious person. I don't believe in religion. I think that there are facts and you can follow the facts. You get what I'm saying? You can follow the facts. Don't follow the people who are out there, you know, trying to spread this news because that's not the point of it. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing about it is that it's so hard for people to get ego out of the way and to actually do something genuine enough that you're always going to feel like a skeptic. You're always going to feel like, oh, this person is out to get me. So my, in my situation, I always tell, tell you, try to get to know him for yourself. Don't let anybody else try to influence you in any way. You know what I'm saying? Is just try to get into know for yourself. And that's why I'm not a preachy person. I don't, you know, I don't really talk about, you know, who I believe in and stuff like that. Like, I don't bring it to the platform. If you ask me, I'll tell you. If you want to have a conversation about it, you know, one on one, we could do that. But I will never come on here preachy, 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 preachy to anyone because. It, it, at the end of the day, people act like they don't know, <laughs> you know, they just act, but it is what it is. But in any case, guys, I like the fact that they kind of bring a certain religious aspect into this manga. And 
he probably doesn't even believe in this stuff, the guy that's writing the story, but he includes it in it because it stirs up conversation. You know, it stirs up conversation. Do you really believe that, you know what I'm saying, Muzgav or Mazguv, Mazguz, Moz, Mozguz, or whatever his freaking name is, do you really believe, you know, in that stuff that he's saying? Because people do, in real life, believe that. They believe that, hey, I can sacrifice virgins, okay? And there's no consequences. You know what I'm saying? Well, in the same sentence, they're, they're like, all men are equal. <laughs> you know? People are weird, you know? So it's like, oh, it's your time to die now. You know? So the torturing to get people to convert that is dumb beyond belief <laughs> if anything that person is going to come out fearing what you believe not agreeing but fearing what you believe you get what i'm saying and the point of it is not to fear you know the point of it all is not to fear so farnies look like she's eating it up taking it up hook line and sinker though um, you know, she's a very influential person when it comes on to religious stuff. So you got to really see with her, you know, um, it was just kind of weird. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think, you know, certain things that happened with her, you know, in, in the past that we've seen, I think it was in the last, the last volume that we, you know, she just went, <laughs> you know, a certain way, <laughs> you know, but you know, I'm still holding out hope that she becomes a great character. You know, I'm not sold on her yet. You guys have said she's one of the best characters in the, in, in the, in the series. So I'm holding out. I'm holding out. But any case, you guys are awesome. You know that you're awesome. And I'm looking forward to seeing what going to happen when Guts gets over to where he's getting or where he's supposed to go. What is this eclipse? Are we going to have another event what is going on? It was great to see him in action again with the Dragon Slayer and this new kid, Isidro. Um, it's definitely going to be interesting. We got, you know what I'm saying? He's going to be there. I hope he, you know, he's able to fend for himself. And he goes wherever he wants to go. That's what he says. And I think he's going to stick around, maybe learn something from Guts. Um, you know, we don't know. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm just reading the story. And gathering information um, and I don't want to go into prediction mode because I this story is a very intricate story that you have to remember earlier details you know what I'm saying that's very you know what I'm saying like you really do have to remember certain things from earlier that you you know and not forget the entire storyline because you will get lost you know you can't come in at volume 18 and know what the hell is going on so you really got to remember certain small details sometimes that may have passed you along and you're realizing what's going on. And that's why I want to just continue until I'm caught up. Now, I don't want to take as long as a break as I did before because I started to forget some, some, mind, some, some of the details, you know, and I don't want that to happen again. But in any case, guys, thank you guys for coming through as always, man, and checking out this. If this is up on YouTube and you saw it, it's probably not going to be much, but if you want to see the panels and what I'm looking at and what I went crazy about, go to the link in the description and see what it was, what I blocked out from YouTube. I'm going to try my best not to block it all out and leave some part of space where you can kind of see the other scenes, but I'm going to try my best to kind of edit that part out. There was a lot of part that orgy scene and that part at the end there with her laying in bed fingering herself it, it was just it's too much <laughs> it's too much that's why i was just gonna run a black screen through the entire thing and just call it a day but it is what it is but in any case guys thank you guys so much for tuning in leave a like leave a comment it's your boy terabyte reacts and i'm out peace